got a really unusual van here in its layout from the outside it doesn't look any different to any of the others which I've got around me but inside it really is now if you're sort of new to most homes maybe you won't appreciate it but you've got a bit of experience of them you certainly will this thing's gonna cost 68,000 euros it is seven meters long by 230 centimeters uh, wide it's got a rear lounge a rear bedroom I don't know if that's an extra bit to the bed or it's a sideboard. We'll see if we can find out. It's got two seats up here. It's a bit like, in some ways, you know, the, the uh, Line F2 concept, the Duomobile. Uh, very similar to that in as much as it's got the uh, shower here. I've got the, I think, way of cutting off the, the door there. And uh, presumably it's got something at the other end as well. Not that I can see it. Yeah. Oh, I know. Sorry, sorry, Tom. That was silly of me. I see. <laughs> Not thinking properly. Sorry. And um, toilet. Quite good. And a shower with really nice plugs there, down there. I appreciate that. And okay, in the floor down here. I let's see what's down here because this looks as though. It's a double floor. Okay, so you can get a bit of storage in there. This one here comes with an oven. That's unusual for a, uh, a German van at this price range. Up here, three uh, burners. Look at the size, how big this oven is. Stove, cooktop. A big wardrobe, shelves down there, got your kitchen drawers here, yeah just open one, this one here will be where the gas is, and so it says a double floor in a semi-integrated van. Only thing I can say that I'd rather have a larger plug, the, the domestic one. But, 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 but that's the only thing I've seen so far which I don't like. Now, I, I, think, I think it's great because it's, it's a thing outside the box and I think this would appeal to many of you. Uh, I mean, for me, it wouldn't be really, really suitable, but uh, I think many of you really will like this a lot. I've never seen that fridge before. That's the first time I've seen it. People say, open the fridge. And I think well, you've seen them all before. I've never seen this one before, right? So, and I think I've possibly seen uh, more fridges than uh, most of uh, my readers, or viewers, I should say. All right, so what's this here? I'll get the bed. And has this mattress been put here for a reason? Is it... I don't know. Is it meant to go? But it fits, it fits, it may be... Maybe this is meant to be here. It sort of fits this as well here. If I push this thing here open, you see it sort of goes right. Well, maybe it is meant to be there. Maybe this is a three person bed. Right, the bed will come down. I can't show it coming down there. It goes with the key. The key goes in there. There's no key. Don't blame for not leaving the key in. I certainly wouldn't in their position. There, you'd have to make the bed every night. And so let's say it's a two or three person uh, van. Um, if you're gonna make the bed every night, you may say, well, what's the point of having a bed over there anyway? You may as well just uh, make, make a bed out of this rather nice uh, U-shaped uh, lounge. And let's face it, it's a very nice uh, U-shaped uh, lounge. I don't know why the lights are flashing outside. Uh, they're clearing up, so that, that might have something to do with it. Mm. Yep, yep. This certainly does appeal to me. I've got some pla places. I think that's to keep my oh, yes, that's, that's for keeping your bottles in. I'll close this as well from this this angle. 
Mm. Good of you down there. No, this wouldn't this wouldn't be suitable for me at all. But 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 I think it's great. I really like this. Okay, though, let's go outside and see if there's anything which might persuade me to think that maybe it would be suitable for me. Okay, television's up there. And uh, to my right, you've got a place for keeping wine glasses. There. Now, earlier I was in a van uh, from uh, Bursna, which I thought was, uh, it looked cheap and horrible. It looked, uh, looked a bit like something from Sunlight or um, a Trusco, but not at that, their, their price level. So, um, uh, you know, if it's sort of a cheap van, then comparatively speaking, of course, then you should sort of accept things. Uh, but this was, uh, it wasn't, it just didn't look right. And, uh, but then I find this, and it's, to it's totally different. Uh, that garage, you can get, uh, couple of bicycles it's got a 10 year water ingress guarantee but I mean it just doesn't look uh, anything terribly flash uh, in my opinion this is where your, your gas cabinet is that's uh, you may have noticed that on the other side um, when I opened the uh, the drawers it was it was um, or the, the, the cabinet it was it wasn't much uh, it was less space in there and that's for your toilet. Congratulations to uh, Burstner for that van. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, uh, why don't I just take you around, show you some of this, the starting, you see they're starting closing it up, it's dark in here, but uh, so we'll have a quick, we'll have a quick walk around the, the van, shall we, the, the, uh, the camp of, or the motorhomes. Uh, while it's still got a bit of time. This thing here, oh, I'd like to show you also, I'd like to show you the finance. So I think, let's have a look at that first. Neuheit, it's a, it's a new thing. And the finance on something like this, of course, this is just in German, Germany, but uh, gives you an idea. So it says from 437 euros uh, a month. Uh, so this is, if you've got 62,120, which admittedly is less than what's shown over there, you need to put a deposit of uh, 24, let's say 25,000 down. The rest of it is payable over 96 months, and that's at a interest rate of uh, 3%. So it's a, it's a couple of percent over uh, base, more than a couple of percent over base. But uh, that uh, obviously the bank has to make money as well. Uh, good. So that we've got here. Uh, it's another lose your time here, and. Uh, I'll show you around to some, some of these other things. So this uh, event, I mean, it closes at six in the evening at the with me being a uh, sort of uh, a filmer. I can stay longer. Look, some of their parks illegally. I told them they had to pay. Now they've been wheel clamped. And yeah, one of the annoying things here, though, is the people putting on this background music, uh, this music which is no doubt copyright. I'm sure they don't have a license to actually uh, uh, publicly broadcast music. And, you know, for people like such as myself, who have uh, YouTube sites, um, what's going to happen is that uh, one day somebody, uh, a YouTuber, films something, there'll be a copyright claim by somebody like Sony Music or whoever, and... Uh, the person will counter the claim, and then Sony will get to hear it, and uh, then they'll uh, they'll find out who was playing the music. It's not the YouTuber's fault; it's the fault of the. It could end up being the fault of the uh, Messer Stuttgart, or it could be uh, the stand at which the music was coming from. But this this is a public broadcast. I mean, there could be uh, uh, literally not hundreds, but thousands of people in this room at a time when music is actually going out. Anyway, so uh, I'm trying to be very careful on that one because obviously I don't want to have claims made against me. Actually, in this half-light, not half-light, but this darker environment, it, it sort of has a certain attraction, almost as though we were outside somewhere. 
Okay, so there you've seen a quick walk around the uh, this stand. I've done these Campeo uh, motorhome, uh, camper vans, I should say, in more detail. There's the one we started off at, Lizio TD uh, 644G uh, Harmony Line. Very nice fan. Thanks for watching.